We're dealing with professionals. <laughs> this... <laughs> What about the family name, huh? <laughs> Nobody's thought of that? I mean, even if we get away with this, this is going to follow us forever. You don't think that at all? Karma. Have you thought about karma? It's true. What goes around comes yeah. around, okay? Yeah. And we yeah. are sending an awful lot around with this. And when it comes back, and it's going to come back, it's coming back, and it is going to hit us like a ton of bricks because we aren't going to be ready because we're sending out a lot and it's coming back to hit us right in the face, okay? Because Will goes out there, comes back, what and... What the fuck is he talking about? Hey, hey, you know what? Nobody can get a thought out when you keep interrupting everybody. Only you. I'm and, only interrupting yeah, you, it. and I should be getting a Nobel Prize for they it. They don't give out Nobel Prizes well, for whatever things like that. Well, whatever fucking heavyweight... Stop! <laughs> We're all on the same team, so just relax and listen up. This is what's going to happen. What do you want me to do about that? Be creative. Take me to Red Lobster. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could definitely make a reservation. Wait, really? This is our first date and you're gonna take me to Red Lobster? Did you just ask me on a, on a date? Super. Dude, hmm. do something. Ask me what kind of food I like to eat, or um, when is good for me. To oh, go. oh yeah. Oh, okay. Um, when is good for you? Next weekend. Next weekend. That is awesome. We can. Uh, yeah. Great. By chance. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's Halloween. Yeah, it is. It's awesome, isn't it? I have never really been a fan of themed parties, and Halloween is like a themed day, except the theme is like witches and goblins and scary things, but like, why, you know? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But look, if you want to go, that's totally cool. I can make an exception. <laughs> no, no, it's, um, that's okay. Next weekend will be great. Okay, I'll let you choose where we go. Well, then we will go to Red Lobster. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm kidding. But they really do have delicious rolls. I'll take your word for it. I'm really excited. Me too. Okay, bye.
So, how's work? Today was really good, actually. It's a big day tomorrow. Hope you got her a nice gift. Dad, please, let's not do this again. Your sister's getting married, Kate. I... I have plans. Really? What, uh... What plans? I'm surprising my friend Trent. Okay. Who the hell is Trent? Well, he's a friend from work. We've known each other a while, and... I really like him, Dad. I planned this whole thing on the way over. Tomorrow's Halloween, so oh, I was thinking... Oh, wow, really? Halloween? It's his favorite holiday. You're gonna have plenty of opportunities to dress up with Trent. Angie's only getting married once. That's optimistic. Angie really needs you there tomorrow. Dad, I just... I can't live with a fractured family, Kate. I, I would like to spend whatever time I have left with my girls. She could make an effort every once in a while, too. She sent you an invitation. Okay. Just do whatever you want. It's okay. Do what you want. Dad. Dad. I'm tired. I'm not lying. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm just tired. I love you. I love you too. Think of your family. I, I don't ask much. Kate, give her something nice. Hi. What happened? Um, it must be in a bad area or something. Oh, weird. Hi. Hi. Are you coming? Tell me you're coming. Yes. Oh my God, that's amazing. I'm so excited, Kate. Yeah, so how do I get up there? We'll pick you up tomorrow. I knew you'd come. I, I knew it. I can't believe my little sister is getting married. Believe it. You'll love him, too. He's smart and, and handsome, and he's funny in a way that you'll appreciate, I hope. We'll pick you up tomorrow at 11 a.m. Sounds great. I'll see you then. 11 a.m. Perfect. Bye. Bye. Oh. Poison. Okay. Transfers to the champagne bottle. And then they start popping bottles and... Aha. Okay, how do we get the cork back into the bottle? I fucked it up again. There's no fucking up, all right? We're just, we're just brainstorming here, so... Okay, brainstorming. What if we take this? Where'd you get that? This is how I give Lucy her medication. Our cat has diabetes? For like seven years. Three times a day I have to do this. Okay, so let's say we take the poison, put it into the cork, 
we let it drain in. That way, the cork is not distressed. It falls in, sneak attack. My concern is, can I see this for a second? See how small that is? I'm not a scientist. I, you said brainstorming. Okay, I'm, well, I mean, is there a way that we can leave the cork in, leave the gold wrapping so that doesn't get touched, but we, you know, go through the, uh, through the Can glass? I ask you something? Yeah. Um, do you think Dad was mad or embarrassed of me because I started sobbing at hey, the meeting? Hey, hey, don't worry about Dad. Nobody's mad at you, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, you're, okay. you're a good person. You I know? Know, the thing is, I, I just feel like I need to watch someone slowly die for regular life experience, no, you know? You know what? We actually, we really need you to stay behind. You know what I mean? Because we, we, need, we really? need reinforcements. Yeah, we need to, somebody to hold down the fort. Like, you, nobody ever sends the whole crew in. Right? I mean, I guess that's a good point. But... I need somebody to figure out how to get the poison into the champagne. You know, that's that could be your thing. Really? Yeah. That's my, I'm going to have a thing. Yeah, you got a thing. That's my thing. You got a thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So um, how do we do it? Wheels turn, wheels turn. Um, got it. Hit me with it. I... Call Christine and ask her what she thinks. I love it. All right. Good thinking. Yeah. All right. Good thing. Make a little bro. All right. Let's call Christine. Okay, you're breaking me. <laughs> oh my god! Hi! Hi. Gosh, she look the same. That's annoying. <laughs> you look like you too. Oh, I'm sorry. This is... Sarah. I'm Sarah. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And this is Mel. The one and only. Oh, that's... Like the handshake. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was that on the phone yesterday about 11 a.m.? You're early. It's 10.45. It's basically 11. Okay, well, um, I have a little bit more packing to do, so do you mind waiting a minute? It's great to see you, Kate. Wow. Not bad, huh? It's beautiful. I know, right? I'm a lucky girl. <sighs> okay, uh, one sec. Okay. What's wrong with your suitcase? That sound is horrible. Oh, yeah, uh, the wheel's broken. You can get a new one on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I know, this one's sentimental. Tell me that's the one from Niagara Falls. Ah, the one and only. That thing take a tumble down the fucking waterfall? There'd probably be way more damage than just the one wheel clacking like that. I'm just saying that if the suitcase did drop down the Niagara Falls, there'd probably be more damage than just one wheel clacking along. That's a very mature inference, Sarah. It was the horse-drawn carriage, though. They took off and all the luggage fell <laughs> off the back. Oh, Dad was pissed. It was a really great trip. I got it. Thank you. If the car smells like cigarettes, I'm going to kill the both of you. OK. The night of the smoke break every 100 miles or two hours, whichever comes first. Shotgun. Oh, no, I want Kate to sit in the front with me. And we're not stopping until we get there.
song sucks. I kind of like this song, Kate. Kate, how's life? <laughs> how's life? Um, I'm good. And you're still working for the nonprofit? Yeah. How'd you know? Facebook. Oh. <laughs> yep. Renewables, right? Yeah. A renewable energy. That's exciting. My husband and I just had a bunch of solar panels installed on our roof. I love saying it. My husband. <laughs> well, solar panels aren't exactly the same thing, but it's a good move. They're kind of the same thing, though, right? Solar or whatever? Sure. So any renewable men and renewable nonprofits? Uh, one or two. One or two? Who? Actually, um, nobody. Huh. Okay. Well. well, there is this one guy. He's really nice. I was going to surprise him for Halloween today, but um, here I am. Well, I only get married once. That's optimistic. <laughs> hey, guys. Do you think he's following us? It's not a fucking movie, Sarah. I probably just broke down. This car is like 100 years old. Yeah, you're right. It's probably nothing. So, how do you guys know my sister? Work. Both of you? Yeah. Angie teaches English, and everyone loves her. I teach math, which is super boring, but okay. And Mel is our shop teacher, obviously. Private school kids hate to get their hands dirty, so I basically sit on my ass all day. I thought teaching was about stimulating the kids' attention. I really don't care. It's shop. I put some good music on, drink a little NyQuil, and Zone out while a bunch of adolescents attempt to make a cutting board. I actually kind of liked shop, but I guess my teacher made it interesting. Well, my students actually hate me for expecting 15 minutes of homework a night. We got a memo at the beginning of the school year about stripping the children of their ability to explore extracurricular activities with unreasonable homework demands. Did you memorize the memo? I read it literally a million times. I couldn't believe it. Kids tend to like my class. Yeah, because you're awesome. Awesome Ange. <laughs> Wait, what? Ask her. Awesome Ange? We give each student a nickname so we can remove them faster. So I thought it was only fair if we all get one too. We use alliteration. Like Awesome Ange. Or Sunny Sarah. <laughs> and you would be Mommy Mel? Wow. Oh my god! Let's do you! Oh, gosh, no, that's okay. Mm. Cool Kate. And you're definitely cool, so I think it works. But it's Kate with a K. Okay, why is he driving so slow? Because we're hot. Hi. This is weird. You should go. down or something? No, just enjoying the view. Please can we go. You sure you don't need no help? Got a mechanic just up the road. And a real nice motel, too. Car's not broken. See? Poor girls all by themselves. Y'all be careful. Thanks.
amazing. How much did this place cost, Mel? Uh, 75 a night. Two bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a real fucking bar. Thank God we didn't book that motel. Oh, man, that place was a shithole, even in the pictures. Where did you guys find this place? Uh, the LABNB app. I've got the weekend all planned. We'll go hiking. We'll have a patio picnic. I brought six board games. That actually sounds really nice. No, we were not spending the weekend playing board games. I brought alcohol. They have a huge supply. Come on, the story writes itself. Okay, just take it easy tonight, Mel. And you too, Sarah. Why? Because I don't want to spend my day tomorrow cleaning up after the two of you. Fine. <laughs> we'll take it easy. We'll try and take it easy. <laughs> I almost forgot the last part of my plan. No phones. That's a nice idea, Sarah. But I can't. I mean, what if he tries to call? You're about to spend the rest of your life with him. I could use the break. <sighs> okay. You're joking, right? Does it look like I'm joking? Is that a trick question? Come on! We're supposed to spend this time together? Yeah, but how am I supposed to make poor choices without my phone? Well, it's the only fun part of a hangover. You know, picking up the pieces, figuring out what happened. I mean, otherwise you're just hung over, right? Now, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, fine. I'm gonna finish ordering this pizza first, though. I'm fucking starving. Totally didn't think that would work. You know, this is how people should do their bachelorette party. Calm, easy. Well, don't tell that to the entire cast and crew of Chippendales. They're showing up later. Oh, they're great. <laughs> I saw them in Vegas. <laughs> uh, but they're not actually showing up, are they? Everything okay out there? Yeah. Uh, the listing says the master bedroom is down the hallway with the crosses, which isn't at all foreboding. Oh, uh, well, Kate and I will share the master and you two can share the other. Yeah? Perfect. here for a night. That's right. Yeah, so if you unpack, you have to repack everything in like 16 hours. I hate living out of a suitcase. <laughs> well, it's not really living out of a suitcase if it's only for a night. The whole point of an LA B, &B is to be a home away from home. No. It's a cheaper place to stay and sometimes you get lucky. We could have been happy. We could have shared this life. Sometimes I don't know which way is up. I've searched and searched, but I'm scared of what I'll find. Why can't you understand that? I understand everything, Helen. It'll only be a night. I already told you, mister. We ain't got no rooms available for your people. Wait, wait! Keep it the shame. Dom. Hello? Jimmy, is that you? It was
was only three weeks ago when rideshare driver Robert Waldman molested 16-year-old Nancy Connors. Waldman took the stand today in what has been a oh, grueling... These fucking case. assholes. I'm so sick of... You know what they should do, for real? They should drag these sickos out into the desert and make the world a better place. Why do you always have to be so violent? I'm not being violent. I'm asking someone else to do it. And now, a tragic development in San Diego. Local hero Petey the Dolphin has died. He was 108. In dolphin years, of course. Oh, Steve, you are too much. Stay tuned for information on memorial services planned across Southern California. And for the national... Mm, I can't take it anymore. Oh, it literally parodies itself. If only there was some sort of remedy to help us feel better. Oh, if only <laughs> there was. I say we enjoy this and then raid the kitchen. Should we see if they want to join us? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure cool Kate doesn't smoke pot. Yeah, they're probably catching up. <laughs> Shit, do you have a lighter? I love how much room we have. Yeah, it's really great. So, how's Dylan? Uh, it's Darren. He's fine, he's good. I'm really happy. I'm glad. He's a little... I I don't know. I We've been together for two years now, and I'm just now realizing that he's a little clingy. They're not going to be your favorite person every day of the week, you know? Yeah. But, like, he graduated last month with his doctorate, and he looked out at me for leaving the ceremony early. You left his graduation? Angie, that isn't not a big deal. It is not a big deal. I didn't even want to go in the first place. I was in Florida in September, in godly humid, and the host had this horrible scratchy voice like Aunt Paula. You know, this host was like a year away from that hole in your throat. And Darren's mom, she's a wonderful lady, but she sobs uncontrollably. You know when you're on a plane and a baby is crying and everybody is looking at the parent? That's how everybody was looking at me, because I was with her. But that's not in the picture. And he just kept going on and on about me leaving. He was like, I put myself through school, you don't respect me, how can you love someone and abandon them? He's romantic, that's what it is. I was like, babe, it was the sweat compounded with your mom sobbing, compounded with the second coming of Aunt Paula, but you just don't get it. I don't know. I have no idea how to accelerate his never-ending adolescence, you know? Wow. What? Was it really that bad? Are you kidding? I... You weren't even there, how would you know? I mean, even your really dramatic version of the whole thing sounds bearable. Graduations are important, Angie. You can't really make that up to him. I hope you apologize. For what? Did you listen to my story? <sighs> yeah, I did. I just think that whatever you're complaining about isn't the actual problem here. You know, I really wanted you here for this weekend, but not if you're gonna be like... Go on, say it. You? Well, at least I'm here. Remind me where you've been the last five years. Come on, Kate. Darren. Oh, I'm... no, you just said it's been two years. What's your excuse for the other three? What happened? 
Things were fine like two seconds ago. Can we just have fun this weekend? I'm trying. Try harder. Guess what I found. Are you sure we're allowed to have that? Better to drink their stash before breaking into mine. And they have a stash, believe you me. Champagne sounds perfect. something that's been bothering me. Okay. Do you think anyone moves to Waco, Texas just to meet Chip and Joanna Gang? <laughs> <laughs> the home flipper people? No, they're the fixer-uppers. The flippers are the other ones in the suit. Well, the guys in the suit. I don't think anyone moves to Waco, Texas just to meet someone. You move to Waco, Texas only if you absolutely must. Or if you're from there, obviously. Mm. Even then, I mean, those kids have got to be desperate to get out of there. Seriously. There's a knife in a way to get out after high school. That's for sure. What's that, Kate? Oh, nothing. No. You were gonna say something. No. I've got it. Kinky Kate! <laughs> <laughs> in that sweater. I highly doubt it. <laughs> I like this sweater. I just don't think that kinky is the right word for you. This tastes strange. Oh, it could have been in there a while, but I'm a woman of simple pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. Well, my stomach does kind of hurt a little. But... Power through. I will. I just, maybe I should eat something. I'm really hungry. Mm. I'm right there with you. I hope that pizza guy gets here soon. They might have Tums or something in the bathroom. Oh, no, it's all right. I, I'd rather let it pass naturally. You're one of those people? How did I not know this about you? You end up dependent. No, I mean, so then keep Tums in every room in your house and in the car and in the office. I can't grasp why. <laughs> so scientists invent a magic pill that takes the pain away. Are you saying you're better than science, Sarah? No, I'd just rather not. No, end up every saying. time that I have a stomachache, I take something and then I feel better. So I, <laughs> I mean, what, what, what are we saying here? I mean, you honestly, I just can't grasp. If the cure exists, it seems... Okay, I think you're getting a little bit worked up here. I'm sorry, it's just baffling to me. Babs, you're... Shit. I just got why they call them Tums. <laughs> Tums, tummy... Yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm gonna go take a look around the house. Ugh. I never drink this stuff. It's too bubbly. <laughs> That's ironic.
Hey, wait, where's your ski mask? We're killing them. Is it your dad's house? No cameras? Yeah, I guess you have a point. <sighs> Wait, where, where the fuck is Terry? time. We're always on Terry's time. Just give him a fucking break. You're not down there. Who even knows if they drink enough of that champagne? Huh? We gotta go. Huh? Dude, we gotta go now. You're right. <sighs> hey, you guys. I just saw something strange. Oh, were you looking in the mirror? <laughs> Come on, no. <laughs> I think someone's here. I just found it. A muddy footprint on the front porch. What? It's probably just trick-or-treaters. I don't know. I don't think that kids would climb up that hill for candy. I would have sucked Barney's dick for a Snickers bar when I was 10. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay, wait, though. So you're saying there's footprints outside to the door? Yes. Okay, okay. No, Sarah, n now I'm really freaked out. It's Halloween. She's just trying to scare you. Come on, I don't even like Halloween. Angie, tell them. Nobody's up here, Kate. <sighs> Wait. Show us. He's just looking for your trainer somewhere. <sighs> you aren't kidding. I told you. Who do you think it is? Guys. What? Oh. Are you okay? Oh, my stomach really hurts. What should we do? What if Kate's right? Okay, everybody just relax. She's trying to scare you. What if she isn't? They're just trick-or-treaters. Come on, if they were just trick-or-treaters, why didn't they knock? And maybe we couldn't hear them over your shrill voice. You're drunk, Mel. We all saw the footprint. Like, what if it's the owners? Maybe they're trying to get in. No, the owners would have keys. This bitch has been complaining. Don't since... call me that. No. What's your problem? No, no it's just... true. She's just trying to upset you, Anne. She's probably jealous. I'm not jealous. No, same thing happened with Sarah's sister. She's trying to ruin your bachelorette party. Honestly, Kate, I'm offended. Melanie, stop it. Listen, Mel, I'm not trying to start anything here. I'm the new girl. I get it. That's fine. But we all saw the same thing out there. Someone is here. We should leave. We should just leave. Really? Really? Do I have to prove that we're alone? Mel, don't. Don't what? Like I said! <laughs>
like the way it looks. Go! We let us in first! Do you think we can get in here? Oh my god. This is it, this is it. We're gonna die in an LA B and B. No, 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 we're not gonna die. It's gonna be fine. Just let me let me think. He's gonna blow this whole thing up. You realize that, right? Uh, we're here. No, 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 Jeez. no. You, Dad just bought those. So? So they're expensive. Like, really expensive? Floor to ceiling? That's why we just break one. No, 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 no. Jimmy! No. no. Cut Look, your fucking hand off. If you break that window, or you crack a door, or anything that's up, he's gonna kill me. Jimmy. I'm gonna be the one that dies. They're so It's a murder spree! Things are bound to get messy. Look, as long as we can mop it up, I'm calm. That's the kind of messy Jimmy likes. But the real issue here, your brother is inside, he's got the house keys and the IQ of a toaster. If we don't find another way in there fast, he's going to start breaking everything. Yeah. That's not good. the front door we're saved what maybe it's the police or something sarah why would you think that because if it was one of them they'd just come inside sarah they they could just be trying to trick us you guys like a thousand times i got lost coming up here did you guys order a large sausage pizza melted okay well mel owes me 22.50 plus tip mel's dead. sure she is mel's dead i'm the cops Look, can you guys just pay me so I can get the hell out of here? I mean, my boss has me running all over the town tonight. You know, you guys live in the fucking mountains, and I'm just... Get inside. Seriously, just give me 22 bucks, I'll get out Come of here. Come on! Oh, shit! What the fuck is happening? I'm sorry, I thought he was the cops. I really don't feel good. Excuse me. Hi, hello. What the hell is going on? Those people are trying to kill us. Why don't y'all just run through the front door? They've got the place surrounded. No, but he's got a point. Like, why don't we make a run for him? You, you played softball. I played soccer. I played lacrosse. Done done i mean you played softball i played soccer cuker i played lacrosse you know what that means what does it mean pizza guy it means we're fast wait 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 what there's a spiked baseball bat out there waiting for us to do something stupid you, look you guys can hang around all you'd like i got two more deliveries to make and if they're not there in 30 minutes it's free oh. damn sarah it's not the pizza. How much of that champagne did you have to drink? Oh my god, the champagne. Sarah, wake up. She's not breathing. Feel her pulse. Angie. Sarah. Sarah, wake up. Sarah, wake up. 
Sarah. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry about your friend, too, but we really have to go. Angie. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, pizza guy! You forgot the ranch! My name. No oh, shit. Well, then I guess this was meant to be. My dog. Fight this. Wash the tires. No! No, I did. Just look. They can't go anywhere. It's over. What's your name? Sarah. It's over, Sarah. You're gonna die. Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> oh! Shit! She hit me in the fucking eye, Sarah! Do you think Sarah got out okay? I... I don't know. I, I didn't hear a car start. Maybe she ran. Maybe. Is it gonna work? I, I don't know. I think this is how you do it, right? <laughs> 
I can't really feel anything. I'm so sorry. I mean, where are there? I don't know. I, I think just one. There could be more, but I haven't seen them. I can't believe they haven't tried to break that door down yet. I'm just resting my eyes for a second. You killed that guy. He hurt you. He would have killed us both if he had the chance. Are you hurt? I was just uh, thinking about Niagara Falls with mom and dad. I really do miss you. I wasn't just saying that. I miss you too. I talk to dad a few times a year. Holidays, birthdays. I don't think I got a call from you on my last birthday. I was staring at your contact in my phone for about an hour. I cannot believe we locked our phones in the car. <laughs> How dumb are we? I should leave. I should leave. I should just leave. I can leave. I'm not a killer, right? No, I'm not. I'm not. I have asthma. Killers don't have asthma. <laughs> no. like, I've had an inhaler in my pocket the entire killing spree. I have carpet on my dashboard. That is very sensible. Killers don't have carpet on their dashboards, okay? I, I don't even text when I drive. Who am I even talking to? Who am I even talking to? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. <sighs> I mean, I have, I have to kill them whether I want to or not because they, they know what I look like, right? Either you kill those girls or you die or you start a new life somewhere and you never see your father again. I can use a shotgun. It would be effective. It would definitely kill them, but also pretty grisly, huh? I could just drive away and go. I can go, I can go, I can go, I can go, I can go. I'm going to use the knife. Go in once and then I could even... Leave the knife there, you know, it just goes in and, and, and dead and they get to keep the knife. They, they keep the knife. You. You. You look like a killer to me. I'm just going to take a few minutes to rest my eyes and then I'm going to go back in and kill them, okay? said this before. I'm really sorry that I missed out on so much. It's hard. I brought this for you. <laughs> kept it around after you left. I don't I don't really know why. <laughs> Thank you. I love him. Dad wanted me to bring you something nice. <laughs> He's gonna be so upset with me. Why? I haven't called since Christmas. You haven't talked to Dad since last year? I've been busy. How's he doing? Is he doing better? That's worse, Ange. We just found out. 
And nobody told me. I thought you knew. He must hate me. No, he did. He doesn't hate you. The only reason I'm here is because he practically begged me. No, I. I didn't mean it like that. I just. What did you mean it like? I want to be here. Dad just wants to see us happy, you know? Nobody hates you, and it's actually the opposite. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah, we should... You should get some sleep, and I'll stay up, okay? We have a better chance of getting out of here alive if we wait for daylight. Will you wake me up if something happens? Yeah. feeling I had the best dream I can't remember it right now it's okay if we get out of here I want to go home I want to see dad we'll see dad there has to be an answer here I can't run no I'm sorry I didn't get away. The car must be broken somehow. There's still at least... Um, what? We're in the middle of nowhere. You said it yourself, no one's climbing up that hill. They drove here. One of them has to have a set of keys. Which one? The one in the house? If he has the keys to the house. And he has keys to the car. Huh. I have to go look. Take me with you. No, you're safer here. If he finds me, I'm dead. All right, come on. Is full of shit. Looking for these? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I gotta say, this really was supposed to go a lot smoother. And I want you to know, please believe me, this was not my idea. Not at all. Even so, I have to kill you now. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you don't know what this is doing to me. O emotionally, psychologically, all of it, okay? It... Don't make this harder than it has to be, okay? Deal? 
You brought this on yourself. Be reasonable. I mean, you saw what we did to your friends. Do you see what we did to yours? They weren't friends. They were family. They were family. Again, I'm... I am sorry about this, you know. Go, I'll be fine, go! Why are you doing this? Water. No, wait. Water. Don't touch me. Can you just pull it out, please? What's your name? Jimmy. Oh, God. I can't feel my leg. I know you'll do the right thing here, Jimmy. Why did you do this? We didn't have... A choice, okay? He, he made us do it. Who made you do it? We were supposed to wait. We didn't drink all the champagne. But Terry went in early and fucked us. He fucked us. He fucked us. Yeah, I swear. I spent most of the night trying to convince myself to leave. What do you do? I'm a bellhop. A bellhop? Yeah. At the Motel California. It's my family's place. My dad owns this house. I know where that motel is. That's where we were thinking of staying, but, but Mel found the LABNB instead. Yeah, that really hurt his feelings. Well, your prices are too high. I've been telling him that for years. I thought you just said he owns this house. He does. I can see your point. I sometimes... <laughs> I don't know which way is up. What? I'm oh, sorry. There's a surprise for you. In the trunk. And the motel isn't far. Go. Dad just said you'd die. I wonder what he'll say when he meets me. Look at that. Shouldn't we call the police?
going anywhere. We are not going anywhere. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, I know. Dad, I know. Yeah, they said they were gonna call when they finished, so they're probably not done yet. One minute. Yeah. Give me a minute, please. Yeah. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying is I wish I wouldn't have pussied out of the whole thing because that chick was so fucking hot. Yeah, the one that rented the place. God, if they would have kept her alive, I don't... I would have... God damn it. One second, Dad. Hi. How many did you kill? All of them. Here we got some too. You followed us? Who are you? I run the motel, sweetheart. <sighs> Jimmy's dad. Wasn't easy getting him to agree to this. Terry and Christine, on the other hand, they were mature about it. There was simpler times, sweetheart. I grew up running through these halls, swimming in the pool, meeting the guests. This place has been in my family for generations. It used to mean a lot, you know, generations, leaving something for your children, Jimmy. You know, people are supposed to work and earn their convenience, bitch. You and everybody like you, you think you're entitled to everything. You forget about us. We made this bed, and you're fucking us in it. You think you can phase me out? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. Not me. Not Brisbane. Ah. L A B N B. L A B N B. Fuck. Who really wants strangers staying in your house? Who wants to open themselves up to that kind of scrutiny? We do that here, and we want to. It's our job. It's our pleasure. We give you a couple of nights in peace. HBO. Breakfast from 6 to 10. We smile when you walk in the front door. We care about you here. Are you kidding? This is the kind of place people sleep with their clothes on, wear flip-flops in the shower. You think people actually want to stay here? They don't. You know how long we've been in this town, bitch? Don't call me that. Do you know how many guests have stayed here, bitch? Don't call me that. I have run this motel for more than 30 years. Who gives you the right to take that away from me? Those girls you killed. They have families. They have lives. Casualties for the cause. Martyrs for the masses. 
And what causes that exactly? Money? You know, you have a really, really nice fucking house. This is war, sweetheart. <sighs> the news gave me the idea. A driver for one of those rideshare scams was accused of molestation. It was trending. Molestation was trending. Now you think about that. If we could make the news and taint the LABNB name, we could win our reputation back. We would have something to leave for the next generation. You did all of this so you could get on the news? You make it grisly enough, and you're prime time, baby. If you're prime time, people listen. We are prime time, bitch. We're fucking prime time. Who the fuck are you? I'm Killer Kate. Hey, I'm really sorry about your bachelorette party. It's not your fault. <laughs> we'll have to tell Mel and Sarah's families. Sarah just got married. Funerals. Memorials at the school. The news is probably going to want to talk to us. I can't wait to see Trent. Who's Trent? This guy from work. I wonder if I'll have to go to court for all those people I killed. I don't even know how that stuff works. It was self-defense. You didn't do anything wrong. I love you. I love you too.